skinny man. He not that skinny now anyway, you know. He not that skinny now. He need to change his name from skinny fabulous to something else. But anyway, he's sexy, eh? Yeah? Look at that boy. All right, well, you have another picture to show me, to show? Uh-huh. All right, what do you think? What, what do you think? What do you think? I find he have one white and he's still looking. All right, he looking skinny and white. Um, that's not Versace shoes he have on. And what again? I sure that's Versace shoes. He like to dress up and thing and make me look. Want to skinny fabulous, <laughs> but he looking nice. But skinny, why your leg open so? You know, that's one thing I don't like. Fellas can open up the leg and woman can't sit down and take a picture like that because you will call with it. Hold on, hold on. Next picture. <laughs> Yes, he like white. Nah, but I like this picture. See this picture here? This picture here, he look like one of them people from Dubai. You know, one of them prince and them. Except for the bandana part. I know. But he had a hole back, he ras. All he doesn't see skinny, fabulous, and TikTok and thing doing all kind of craziness. I wonder why is he... Listen, we're going to ask him. Because he's here. All yeah, make some noise for skinny, fabulous. <laughs> Skinny, hey, 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 hey. Skinny, but you're not skinny Trying anymore. To actually but you're not, you're not skinny anymore, you know. Um, well, it's called the quarantine weight, you know. As soon as the world reopens, I'll get back to my usual. Oh, the quarantine weight. Well, in quarantine, quarantine, if you had to change your name, where you would call yourself in quarantine? Um, if I if I pass one, if I pass two hundred. I'll call myself Fatty Fantastic. Hey! <laughs> I love it! I love it! Skinny, what's going on with this volcano in St. Vincent, boy? What's going on with that? Um, in St. Vincent right now? Yeah. Um, well, boy, we have, we have three major challenges we are facing right now. What's that? Inform us. The first is we are, we are battling some cases of dengue. Um, For which, real? Yeah. And then we are battling the uptick and the uprise in our cases of the coronavirus. Right. Which started to spike after the Christmas season. Yeah. Um, due to a lot of persons coming home. Mm -hmm. We had nine morning festivals. Mm -hmm. We were doing very good up until that point. And then, bam, it mm -hmm. just takes one or two persons to do the wrong thing, and then, bam, we have a serious situation mm -hmm. now. And then the third thing we are facing in St. Vincent is we have a volcano that is behaving badly at the moment. It's because you, uh, dear, it's because you, not custom being in the country all this time, so as you hear, you see that extra heat? Is the extra yes, heat? Yes. Trust yes, me, yes, yes. they've turned out on a volcano when I erupt since March, because I hear. Yes, yes. Hey! I, I am stimulating some seismic activity in the volcano. <laughs> That's what we talking right. about. That's what we talking about. So tell me something. You tell us all about, right? I write down questions because if we go like this, we will just keep talking like friends, and I don't want it to be like that, right? Some yes. of the was the restrictions of COVID. Like, okay, what has COVID forced you to do? Or, or you know, I've seen you on TikTok a lot. You know, yes. I've seen you in some crazy videos doing some crazy things. The most recent with your daughter, the night before Christmas. Well, that's one, the last one I saw. You're crazy. Right. But how have you pivoted, like staying relevant? Because I'm seeing you all over social media still. Well, on an, on an artist level, um, I think the, the, because we are so at home now and we're so grounded, I think the, the existence of the pandemic allowed us to expose more of our personality. Because now we, we weren't, normally the content we show on Instagram deals with a throwback of a show or what concert we did last night, or things to do with that and music. Right. When you take away that content, then you're left to just be Gamal. I'm left to be Gamal Doyle and not necessarily Gamal. skinny fab. <laughs> fab at home, skinny fab is not doing anything. So I have to show and I expose pieces of Gamal that so happens to be a side of me that persons don't really know, but yeah. uh, more and more I get to expose my personality and my traits through little various videos. But we like it. Them. We like it. What's your horoscope for those people that don't know? Taurus. He's a Taurus. All right. And you know what they say? Uh, nah. They say. Nah, I ain't yeah, say nothing. It's a, it's a, it's a bull. <laughs> 
Yes, but you're not big like a bull. But all right, we wouldn't go there. But anyway, 2021, do you, um, do you foresee later on in the year? I mean, you would know your own business, you know. Do you foresee things being better than we ended 2020? Honestly, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be, as soccer artists, we ought to be um, consistently optimistic and upbeat. Um, but I'm going to tell you, sometimes I battle with my optimism because in March, I was thinking, ah, we should be fine by May. And then May, I was like, mm, we should be fine by summer. And I was like, mm, we should be fine by Christmas. <laughs> and so I've seen the failure of my pattern of thinking. So you ain't so going to think again. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to think again. I'm not, I'm not in a position to say 2021 is going to be great because... Uh, I don't know. It's so volatile. The situation is so fluid that yeah. there are new strains. There, there's the vaccine, and the vaccine might not be. You're going to take that vaccine, boy? Because you are no well, flesh. Have... You are no flesh to take that vaccine, you know. I could at least well, take it in my bum. See, well, you going to take that flesh? Let me take the. Where is that? Oh, boy, power them chicken bone, huh? My guns. My guns. <laughs> Understand? No, but, but I will be writing, and I, and at the end of the day, I think we will be in a position where, um, at some point in time, it might become a requirement to travel. It might become a requirement to enter certain venues. So yeah. who knows if we'll even have a choice yeah. at the end of the day? That's the thing. That's the thing. I figure is going to happen, especially as entertainers. We want to keep entertaining and doing our jobs. We're going to probably be forced into a situation where whether you want to take yes. it or not, you have to because. To travel we may, we or to go to into the venues parts. or whatever. But listen now, uh, how many road marches, Soka Monarchs, have you won in, in St. Vincent? Because you, we know you come and invade with thing the other day with your family. Le, 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 le. But in your country, how many Soka Monarchs road marches have you won? Six. Six what? Six, six what? Six Soka Monarchs. I have six power Soka Monarchs uh -huh. and one movie Soka Monarchs. All right. So here's, here's the big boss over in St. Vincent. I am, I am one of the big bosses. Well, I've been there many times, so I know there are a lot. But, you know, yes. in terms of the face that we see in the Caribbean, we see you, right? Mostly, yes. mostly. Well, I, and I, problem, I, I, and I, problem, child. We see both of you. We see both of you mostly. Zola at one point. Fireman yes. Opa at one point. A lot of you. Man, a man. lot of you guys, you know. But, you know, yes. I know this because I am part Vinci. You know, my grandfather is Vince. From St. Vincent, so I know these things, but it's okay. You yes. Know, you know, so I remember your first time to St. Vincent's thing in Trembling, and I it was, was in a, a real shabby stage too, um, <laughs> you in a know, place called Georgetown. You know, like we don't go there now. You're trying to bring up bad memories, our. It was good memories for me. It was good memories on stage, but it had plenty bad ones attached to it, like we don't go there. <laughs> no, but you see, you were my woman crush every day for back real? then. When you women was. Yeah. Women was. Women was. Well, now you're... No, you're not um you're not on the market to be anybody's crush really right now. So we have to be respectful of that. Brian said Brian said Brian said tell skinny. I'm glad you know. I glad you know. <laughs> When I, first, Ryan, I, <laughs> when I first met you, you were in media though. You were on the read. You were one of those people interviewing me when I first met you. Remember that? Yes. Do, do you yeah, miss I that? Miss, yeah. Do you miss yeah, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. You miss media I though? I started in the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I was doing news, reading that announcement. Yeah. Having political programs <laughs> and all these things. You, know? you, think, you think you'll ever get back into media? No. No, not, <laughs> no, not, not in that. <laughs> Not, not in that way. Honestly. All right. I am more, I am more driven by entrepreneurial ambition. Now. Oh yeah, tell us all about that. Tell us all about that. Well, um, uh, I plan to open a. Well, already I have a, a um a kid store that deals with party supplies. How and much children you have? How much am I in your business? How much children you have? I know about Zia. Uh, Who? How much children you have? have? I have two kids, a boy. I and knew a that. Girl. I was just causing back at that. I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't I finish. I no, off. no, no. Men don't ever finish. Women wrap up. Men don't. But we won't go there. It's an Hello. advantage. And you Hello. scarce? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello? You scarce? Hi. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> No, but tell us about tell off. us about shop skinny fabulous. All these girls on, on the internet wearing all their clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that was such a good... I, I, I was actually surprised at, at, at how um, was successful 
that that kicked off, you know. Um, and the process was very well. Big up to um, SOS Clothing in, in in Toronto who partnered with me, and um, the response has been tremendous. And persons from all over the world, Japan, Australia, everywhere, well, and you know, the Caribbean people as usual. Their I, support of the shop skinny fabulous. I'll share a secret. Good. I'll share a secret. People just want to wear your merch because it says skinny. So tell of it course. Is. It says skinny. I am 135 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. I keep it real, but then you may be seen. Come oh, on. You is, is, is all of that? Is all of that? Well, here it is. I have some hot spot questions for you. And some yes. one at a time. Here the first one. Yes. What is yes. the most useless talent that you have? Scratching my throat <coughs> like this. <coughs> I'm really good at scratching my throat from the inside. Well, thank God you don't scratch it from the outside. I don't know how that would have look. All right. What, what is the best and worst purchases you've ever made? Um, I bought a Suzuki Escudo um, back in the day. And while I was driving it, the bonnet flew off it was that bold but it was a really good deal and yeah that was the worst purchase i made that was the best one was the best one um all right all right you see you That's a... i used to be an iphone guy until i discovered android go ahead next question we will fight about that i remember remember we fought about that in the virgin islands we will yeah, fight yeah, about yeah. that again. Life. Right. We, no, no, no. Anyway, <laughs> I'm cutting this part of the video when I'm posting it. But anyway, what is the most ridiculous thing someone tricked you into believing or doing? Um, in school, there's a thing called Brook Locks. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's that's a generic name, but it's it's like a, um it's a laxative. But it, it looks like you chocolate and it clocks. tastes. We just say bro clacks in Trinidad. It we accent. That. that okay, well bro clacks, right. I was tricked into taking that as chocolate and oh. I had like two squares. So that did not end well. So you two to yourself? And in the in the bus stop. I was at a bus stop in St. Vincent <laughs> waiting for a van and it hit me. And I say, way fast. <laughs> something bubbling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you real? Stupid. I can't believe you do that. Everybody know about Brooklax. I didn't. I didn't. I thought it was chocolate. All right. <laughs> Have you ever been thrown out or banned from a public place? Why? Banned from a public place. That's a, hmm, that's a kind of weird one, eh? Because back in the day when I was young, free, rebellious, in my adolescent years, I went to a restaurant and um, I, I was, I was, I allowed myself to, to be vulnerable. What? Um, yeah. So what happened? Well, I, I was caught. I got caught. I got caught in a, in a compromising position. <laughs> With, oh, um, use that kind of guy. With oh, use that kind yeah. of guy. Oh, glad to know. It was popular. It was popular. Popular. We were so, young. Now, so now, if you do that, if you do that now, that dog love. All right then. Okay. I dog love. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Last question. And not me, right? But if you have to, if you had to have one soca artist accompany you through a zombie apocalypse, who would it be? One soca artist. artist. Yeah. Male or female, zombie apocalypse, walking dead business, right? One artist. Who would it be? Boy, I would say Ben Giano. <laughs> Me too. You say Ben Giano. Look at Ben Giano. I, ben Giano is different. Ben Giano yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben Giano. I, I feel like Ben Giano be licking up yeah, zombies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to agree. I want to agree. I want to agree. Hey, Skinny, yeah. you do good. You do good. Hey. Round of applause for Skinny Fabulous. He's doing real good. Wow. Wow. You're impressed, buddy. Could you just tell everybody your handles before we go? And anything else you'd like to say before you leave us? Yes. Well, you could find me on all platforms. I'm very Googleable. Just type in Skinny Fabulous. You'll find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I don't have an iPhone, so I'm not on um, we call a new thing now, Clubhouse. 
forget about that club also it's nonsense because it's not on android but all other platforms you could find me skinny fabulous dictionary spelling you understand big up to all the supporters in trinidad and tobago thank you for always embracing the fabulous and my 135 nests of twisted steel and sex appeal <laughs> but that it <laughs> Love you, boy. We love you. Thank you for joining us, and I hope to see you soon. Okay, I miss you. I I miss you. Miss you too. Bye. <laughs> well, yeah. That's my brother, skinny. You know, that's skinny, fabulous. And listen to me, he crazy. You know, he eat broke locks. Who does do that? <laughs>